Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight is a big night for us because for now, our journey at Narnia is coming to an end. Oh. We're going to be taking a look at the Chronicles of Narnia, the Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Now, I know there's supposed to be another movie called The Silver Chair, but that looks like it's tied up in limbo for a long time. So as far as we know, this is tentatively the end. You guys have been awesome in the comments with educating us about everything from C.S. Lewis and J.R. Tolkien being close friends. Uh, Tolkien, yeah, that was pretty cool. Tolkien having a little fun at C.S. Lewis and <laughs> making him into one of the Ents in his in his books. And of course, all the uh, you guys pointed out all the similarities with uh, you know with uh, Christianity and religion that the, a lot of the themes were in here. I think all of us missed that by a mile, but that. <laughs> it was really cool to see you guys let us know about that. And again, this community that we have is so fantastic. Everybody's great in the comments. Um, and they even had my back for never seeing the never ending story. So yeah, five. thank you guys for that. <laughs> Jeez, you're need, going to need an oxygen tank after that long winded opener. But it was Send great. It. it was well needed because this has been great. This has been a great journey. This the great chronicles, apparently. And I am definitely ready, willing, and e able to yeah. see how this goes. How are you now? Oh, my God. Say that three times is nice. And so I am ready for this because... You know where did we go from here remember the two oldest oldest of the of the children said that they're not going to be in this one remember he said that at the end mm -hmm. of the second one yep. so i want to see where it goes with the two youngest from the a-hole of the first one to <laughs> the savior of the second one see where he goes from couldn't there. help it he was a slytherin possibly <laughs> oh oh ooh, ooh. Uh, tie in this, <laughs> a little uh, bit to a our little friends bit. at hogwarts <laughs> Uh, no, they, these movies have been uh, a lot of fun. Uh, I think I enjoyed the first one um, a little bit more than the Same. second one, but the plot was still fun on the second one. Um, the uh, the time jump that they experienced I thought was interesting, and um, you know a couple of uh, you know a couple of plot twists and things like that with the prince and the uncle. A tale yeah. as old as time. <laughs> uh, somebody hungry for the throne, but yeah. a little bummed out that uh, that part four is. Uh, on hold indefinitely uh, because this has been uh, this has been a fun ride so far. I was hoping it wouldn't end after three, but for now this is going to be our final yep. visit to Narnia. I'm just hoping that Liam Neeson is back once again. Oh, so without further be. ado, let's go. England needs you know right. list. Are we in? Are we in World War Two now? Oh, sure why do I look older? He's only been in two wars already. <laughs> <laughs> Alberta Scrub. It's a typographical error. Edmund, we're supposed to be helping you with the groceries. Jeez. Oh, I'm a king. I have bought wars and and I've led armies. If anyone so deserves a name. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, she's becoming a young lady. Wants well, because nice. remember the first film, she became a young was, woman. Did you so this was World War One. Well, isn't it? Aren't they still in World War One? That was. Did you just see the planes fly over? I didn't. It's definitely <laughs> World War Two. Two. <laughs> yeah, the sequel. I'm all confused. If only one could treat relatives like one treats insects, all my problems would be solved. Hello. No. Oh, it's hey. eyebrows. Hey. <laughs> What's this guy doing in this movie? He's in everything we do now. Oh you my goodness. Look at him. He's hiding his candy. He's so tiny. <laughs> it's been such an adventure. Oh, hey. And nothing like our times in Narnia. America is very exciting. Nice. Okay. Oh. I was invited to the British Consul's tea party this week by a naval officer. I think he fancies me. Do you think I look anything like Susan? Lucy, have you seen this ship before? It's very Narnian looking, isn't it? Well, just another reminder that we're here and not there. Mm. Believing in Narnian nursery rhymes. Please let me hit him. No, it's my house. I do as I please. <laughs> oh, wow. Edmund, it looks like the water's actually moving. That's what happens when you read all those fanciful novels and fairy tales of yours. People who read fairy tales are always the sort that become a hideous burden to people like me. I read books of real information. Oh, oh it is moving. Edmund, the painting. <laughs> is Narnia calling him back? What's going on here? Stop it or I'll tell mother! 
<laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, tell mother. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> no, don't. That's that's a lot of water. You can have uh, some. Yeah, uh, try yeah. and smash it now, you dink. Some uh, flood damage there. Oh, is oh, that how they get in? in? They are. They're in. <laughs> just like that. Yep. So does Narnia just call to them when they're needed? I guess, huh? Oh, here comes the overboards team. Is this a uh, early Coast Guard? Pretty much. I got you. Listen. Hey! Hey! It just happens to be uh, Fritz Caspian. <laughs> I don't want to go. I want to go back to my Now that uh, Prince Caspian's grown up a little bit, he does look a lot more like uh, the Jigsaw I'm used to seeing him as in The Punisher. <laughs> so what you're saying is he looks more like himself? Yeah. <laughs> well, in the early ones, I had no idea it was him. He didn't even look like him. Didn't you call for us? No. Whatever the case, it was glad to be here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes, the mouse is back! <laughs> Your Majesty. Hello, Ree. It's all. Did you see? <laughs> <laughs> I want to wake up right now. <laughs> yes. You're on the Dawn Treader, the finest ship in Narnia's navy. <laughs> <laughs> Edmund the Just and Lucy the Valiant, High King and Queen of Narnia. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's got to right. be hard every time going back to your normal life. You're not a king and queen, you know, yeah. so you get to well, go back. They, and then when they, every time they come back to Narnia, they're kids again. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe he'll show up. Susan's bow and arrows, my healing cordial, and dagger. Here, hold it if you wish. <laughs> no, no, it's yours. I did save this for you, then. <laughs> flashlight! This flashlight. That thing saved the day. There's peace across all of Narnia in just three years. And have you found yourself a queen in oh, this? Ah, she mm -hmm. keeps doing it. No, not one to compare with your sister. Hang on. Oh! Oh, oh did, did you see that smile? She's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, is she doing it? Seven Lords of Talmar. They fled to the Lone Islands. No one's heard from them since. It's my duty to find out. Well, what's east of the Lone Islands? Things you could barely imagine. Tales of sea serpents in the worse. Pirates? <laughs> they run into Jack Sparrow, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, what a crossover. Oh, that man. Be. Look at the design elements on this boat. What do you think's past the Lone Islands, Reef? I've been told the furthest east one can sail is to the end of the world, Aslan's country. Do you really believe there's such a place? Well, we have nothing if not belief. Oh, That's something so magical there. Translucent uh, dolphins? Yeah. No. Oh, that's a mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah weren't they in the first one? Uh, yeah, I they, they, they might have been them. answer. Yeah, you might be right. Again, oh. these these guys with the live rounds all the time. <laughs> Nobody have any wooden swords around here. Yeah. <laughs> You've grown stronger, my friend. All right, back to work. <laughs> oh, everyone's like, ah, oh, what a buzzkill. There he is. <laughs> There's our guy. See, you're still talking nonsense, two of you. Find your sea legs. Never lost them. As soon as we find civilization, I'm contacting the British consul. Have you all arrested them? His voice is so funny in this. I know. I thought we saved your life. You held me against my will. Uh, it's like he can't even be amazed by where he is. He's yeah. got to just keep going on. <laughs> He's upset. Well, he wants to talk to the bit, British consul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See how far that goes. As long as he doesn't call anybody greeny, I'll be all right with it. The Lone Island. The parts of Narrahaven. Not a Narnian flag in sight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Lone Islands have always been Narnians. Seems suspicious. I say we prepare a landing party. 
The chain of command starts with King Caspian on this ship. Right. We use longboats. Oh, they brought... Oh, my God. <laughs> they brought him with. Oh, terrible idea. Where is everyone? Oh. Ooh. That looks like that actually could have hurt the way he freaking landed on those on steps like that. Stay here with Drinian's men and secure the place. If we don't come back by dawn, send a party. Yes, Your Majesty. That's a little suspicious. If there's only one. Yeah. Okay, so there is people there. They're just freaked out. Do you want to come here and guard? Oh yes. <laughs> Yeah, it just seems like he's just not into like Why would he fairy tales. Why about that though? He just wants to leave. I've got it. I've got it. Don't worry. <laughs> oh boy. The kings have like their heads in their hands. I'm That's... betting something happens and they it moves. Oh boy. What are we looking for? Who are all these people? Slave traders. <laughs> Oh, 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 right off the bat, huh? Yeah. Hopefully he got paid for his one day of being yeah. an extra. <laughs> oh, great Unless job. you want to hear this one squeal like a girl again, <laughs> I'd say you should drop your weapons. Get your hands off me! Let's take these two to market. Listen to me, you insolent fool. I am your king! These guys just took over the whole town? You all right? Not bad. But I'm no longer deserving of that title. Is he one of the seven? Mm, thought I oh, recognized no. him from the wall. Oh my lord, please forgive me. No, please. No! Oh. Whoa. Oh, who we got coming here? Whoa. What happened? It's a sacrifice. We lords made a pact to find the source of the mist to destroy it. They each set sail, but none came back. 100 for the little lady. 120. <laughs> Oh, so, he may not look like much, but uh, he's strong. Yeah, he's strong, all right. I won the school hygiene award two years running. <laughs> <laughs> Take them all off your hands. Banalia! All right. Oh, coming in hot. There you go. MVP Reap going to save the day. <laughs> Oh, nice. Whoa. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. They, they got some power. The <laughs> 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 Minotaur is just cleaning house. Just <laughs> oh, oh, that's going to hurt. That'll do it. Oh, there there you go. shovel. Oh, there you go. They just needed some hope. Yep. Just no, what is back. he doing? It's gonna do the whack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Have I ever not come back? That'd be good. This was given to me by your father. I hid it safely in a cave. There are seven such swords. Oh. A few years of uh but a corrosion there. Was there a little polish they could have put on there or something? Uh, he'll it. hit it against a rock like Conan did. Watch, he just grabs it and it'll go perfect. Dear Diary, every person I've met in this strange place suffers from the most florid delusions. It's going to be magnificent. Do they come in a smaller size? <laughs> <laughs> He's even more deluded than my cousin. In England, we have mousetraps and that sort of thing. Uh, why are you talking to that bird? <laughs> He's talking to birds! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh, jeez! <laughs> I mean, he's kind of got a point, you know? 
Stealing rations is a capital offense at sea. Just hand over the orange and we'll let the matter pass. I don't know what you're talking about. Unhand the tail. <laughs> <laughs> Aslan himself gave me this tale. But please, please, I, I'm a pacifist. <laughs> I'm a pacifist. <laughs> I'm a pacifist. <laughs> it's oh, fear related to small Trying to run away? We're on a boat, you know. Let us let we have ourselves a duel. Oh, so, oh, the girl. Oh, she, you oh, knew boy, her. You knew she was something. coming. Yeah. yeah. Looks like we have an extra crew member. Welcome aboard. Your Majesty. Call me Lucy. Eh, call me Lucy. Mm. Keep it casual. I'll make a swordsman of you yet. The playing field were a little more even. <laughs> it's an entirely different result. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this kid's really he just won't good let him so, he's really yeah. good so far yeah. In this movie. yeah he's not letting himself like have fun like he he cracked oh, that smile man. for a half second then he's like well you know really, he's if, killing this role yeah. oh yeah <laughs> could be a trap we'll spend the night on shore Ooh, nice are they already on the beach otherwise there's a fire right there yeah it looks must like. be Oh, okay. invisible giants. <clears throat> Seems they brought a pig. This one reads. <laughs> oh, that's kind of a cool oh. shot. Where she's, yeah, you know, trying to pull away the invisible hand. What are you? We terrifying invisible beast <laughs> <laughs> you'll do what we ask she will or what or death yes well i wouldn't be much use to you dead now would i then we'll just kill your friends you will enter the house of the oppressor oh whoa upstairs You'll find the book of incantations. Recite the spell that makes the unseen see. Beware the oppressor. He's very oppressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's very oppressive. <laughs> Where's Lucy? Lucy? Everybody up. <laughs> They're just going to leave him there. Incantations. Hey, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> cure <laughs> thing. A forgetting, forgetting spell. spell, a remembering spell. But all around there to be snow. Sorry. No, just in there. <laughs> nice work there. Well, she didn't think it would work. <laughs> uh, how do we get this to a stop? Yeah. Halt. Reverse. Looks like a big snow globe up there. Just a little bit. Causes interior water <laughs> damage. We know that, right? Uh, oh, the green oh, mist. The mist. <gasps> to make you she. The beauty you've always wanted to be. Oh, no, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Well, it's already been done. Oh, our sister. No, wait, make me see who I'd agree. Oh, come on, don't do this. Don't do you're, it. You're fine the way you are. Don't, don't, oh, she's <laughs> taking <terrible. laughs> the book. Yeah, the book, I'm sure, did not appreciate Lucy. that. Lucy. <gasps> Aslan? Was Aslan trying to tell you you don't need a spell? I think oh, so. Green mist again. A spell to make the unseen seen. <laughs> Watch, they're gonna be some like hobbits with Here. huge feet. Or something mm -hmm. goofy looking, yeah. 
Or they'll have fake they'll have fake feet on. Yeah. Fake feet. Oh, there's the mist again. You don't want to mess with us. We're all cloying. Oh, so you're starting to see oh, them. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. on top of each other. Don't mess you with my teeth. Tickle us with your toes. <laughs> they only have one foot? Wow. No, calm down. Where is she? Well, now it's oh, seen. Yeah, now everything is visible. Your Majesty. Caspian and Edmund. This is Koryakin. It's his island. I have not wronged you. I made you invisible for your own protection. What was that? Lint, but don't tell them. Lint. <laughs> like something out of Mario Brothers. It seemed the easiest way to protect them. I mean what lies behind the mist. But they're really hitting their stride in this one with all the effects and the magic and everything. Oh, what does that look like? Yeah, looks like our battle. Dark Island. Place where evil lurks. It can take any form. It can make your darkest dreams come true. You must break its spell. That sword you carry. There are six others. There the seven swords must be laid at Aslan's table. It will do everything in its power to tempt you. Be strong. He knows what she pulled out of the book. Yeah, she had to have seen him. To defeat the darkness out there, you must defeat the darkness inside yourself. We've taken the advice of a senile old coot. We're back in this tub and lost in a tempest. Why would he, why would he choose that seat or that spot to sit on the boat, on the ship? We're stuck here with food and water for two more weeks maximum. Just seeing the men are getting nervous. And perhaps, Captain, you would like to be the one to explain to Mr. Rince that we're abandoning the search for his family. The sea can play nasty tricks on a crew's mind. Very nasty. He's got a point. They got to get out of the storm if they're going to do anything. Transform my reflection. Cast into affection. Lashes. There's the. I was the wondering. Evil yeah. testing her. Whom I'd agree. Holds more beauty over me. And why all of a sudden is the boat stopped? Yeah, maybe they got out of the storm. I don't think so. It's what evil wants her to see. Oh, <laughs> oh this classic music. Yeah. Obviously, you won't hear it, but. You know, the thing that I'm most impressed about, Quinn, is is the music in the background <laughs> is very... Well, because Quinn said it was very World War One, so... Yeah, <laughs> he's got a point. And then I, I said I World War Two. Ah, see, mess. look who's back. Can I get a photo? The old Spitfires flying over with their, their V-12s didn't, didn't give it away, huh? Mm. What do you mean? Lucy. Who's Lucy? I don't want to gloss over how sad of a story that is that she thinks she needs to change into her sister to be more beautiful stop this it's not all sunshine and rainbows is it oh hello sir ah uh, fake out what have you done child didn't mean to choose all of that i just wanted to be beautiful like susan you wished yourself away and with it much more don't run from who you are. Aslan! There you go. Get rid of that thing. Yeah. Now who are they going to try and get? Yeah. Man, this is what he's, the, I'm assuming, first mate said that, you know, sees play tricks on yep. him. And then they also said the evil would test him. There's Edmund. Oh no. Let me guess. Bad dreams. So either we're all going mad. So is this the island? Did they follow the blue star? I doubt the Lord stopped here, my liege. No, oh, don't. Does it sound like cannons to you yeah it does i don't know 
Oh, uh, well, it could be a yeah, guess. What do you think could be down there? Let's find out. Uh, how about no? Yep, cave that could collapse down <laughs> on at any time. <laughs> All right, let's explore it. Oh, oh what's... Oh, so someone frozen? Like from, uh... Yeah, from the first. What's that? From the witch? We need Aslan to breathe on it. Just turn it to gold. Get rid of that thing. Drop it. Okay, maybe not. It's like a cursed pool or something. Don't go in the water. He must have fallen in. And his sword. We Ooh, need so how they can they get it? Your sword hasn't turned to gold. Both the swords are magical. Yeah. That is that an evil form? So then they have like solid gold, like seashell. No, but I think it's gonna test them because they're gonna get like obsessed with golds and riches. Yeah, the mm -hmm. wealth could be the most powerful person in the world. You can't take anything out of Narnia, Edmund. Says who? I do. You've been waiting for this, haven't you? To challenge me, you doubt my leadership. You doubt yourself. Getting both of them. I deserve a kingdom of my own. Prove it! Oh, I oh. almost looked like he was going in the drink. Yeah. Both of you! It's bewitching you. This is exactly what Koryakin was talking about. Uh, I'm just gonna slide this <laughs> in, the, in the pocket. <laughs> He's gonna toss it. There you go. Oh boy. Oh, he threw it in the water. Uh, see, look, there goes the green mist. Oh, 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 whoops. That'd be a tough one to climb out of. I don't think he wants to. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. <laughs> you know, some of that stuff is just gold plated. Yeah. It just it just swipes right off. Ooh. So this is Narnia, you never know. Won't be needing that then, will you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is this, oh, is there a dragon? Oh, yeah, there a dragon is this like guarding his hoard? Where, where all the gold? Not one coin. Uh oh. More of that mist. Cashing in on this dude's greed. Best use this. I'm going to find him. I'll come with you. Useless! Treasure. Oh. 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 Burned out shoe. Oh, this journal. What? There's no way we lost Eustace. You get burned by a dragon? It's Lord Octesian. Sword. 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 Is that really the end of him? It can't be. It oh. can't be. He's. I think he got taken by the mist. But I think we'll get him back. I'm hoping. Volcano. Oh no, that's no volcano. Arm yourself! Oh no, that's definitely gonna be a dragon. Take your position and wait for my command. Wait, do you see what's on its arm? It turned. Is that Eustace? That's that's him. Yeah. Because look what's yeah, on his arm. Yeah, it's got the arm uh, thing. Right. Yeah, if he breaks yep. that mask, that ship is in big trouble. Oh, right in yeah. between the knuckles. Ooh. Oh, is he going to drop him in the volcano? Oh, you see, he's showing him. That's what he was showing him with the fire. They should have gave him the eyebrows on the dress. Oh. He must have been tempted by the treasure. Is there any way to change him back? 
that I know of. Aunt Alberta will not be pleased. We can't leave him alone. Well, we can't bring him on board, Your Majesty. I mean, I'm just saying wherever they're going, they could possibly use a dragon. Yeah, I mean, it's never a bad idea to have one. When I was a boy, I used to imagine sailing to the end of the world, finding my father there. Oh, did you kind of see the, see Aslan? Mm. I miss my mummy. I miss mine too. Don't worry, I'll see her again. Aslan will help us. But Aslan couldn't stop her from being taken. Aww. I'll stay up with you if you wish. Keep you company. Extraordinary things only happen to extraordinary people. Believe it or not, I'm not the first dragon I've encountered. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it is. This is a blue star. Blue star. Come on, old boy. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I went to art and design and graphic school to one day have a mouse punching a dragon in the face to wake up <laughs> to look at a blue star. Oh, well, there they are again. Oh, say no. Mm, no, no. The wind has left. So how do we get to Romandu's Island now, then? Useless! That's brilliant! Ah, there you go. Well, if you yeah. wouldn't look at that. I told yeah. you a dragon would come in handy. Oh, yeah, it's like I knew Lord it of the all Rings out of <laughs> <laughs> came in. <laughs> all right, so they have three of the seven. Ooh. Maybe take a little hot lap around. Check things, check out. things out. I think Eustace needs a freaking like nap. A little break. <laughs> well, that's a trap. Clearly. Oh, it looks <laughs> well, no, it looks like they had a feast though, Our but a table it... with fresh fruit and food just sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Yep. Maybe that's the other three. So you got the, how many swords did they need yet? They three? Seven. Total. Seven, yeah. So yeah there's three, they need four more. Yep. Well, I thought um, they have the three and then Edmund has the other one. Lord Revillian. Lord Nevermore. Lord Argos. Ooh. He still looks fresh. Yeah, yeah he I was is. Gonna say, he hadn't been... Uh... He hasn't been 86 very He's long. Breathing. Has, oh, geez, all right. Are they all breathing? So are they. They're under a spell. It's the food! Huh? Oh, this is Azan's table. The swords. That's six. Orcs? Orcs, these are close. <laughs> Was it Peter's sword? Is that the last one, maybe? Travelers of Narnia, welcome. Who are you? I'm Lily Andil, daughter of Romandu. You're a star. You are most beautiful. If it is a distraction for you, I, I can change form. No. no. <laughs> 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 Let's see, like a. Uh, there is enough for all who are welcome at Aslan's table. What happened to them? They were threatening violence upon each other. Violence is forbidden at the table of Aslan. So they were sent to sleep. Come. There is little time. Well, is there time to eat or is there little <laughs> yeah, time? Like, hey, yeah. man, sit down and eat. Okay, you're grabbing a couple of things here. Yeah, I just don't. I'm just not getting a good feeling. Remember, there's still still only six. Yeah, I still need one more sword. He speaks the truth. But we only found six. There you go. Do you know where the seventh is? No. Of course. Oh, no. It, is. it looks like that rock from that like old Nickelodeon game show, like yeah. back in the yeah. back in the nineties. Ooh. There you go. Davros, unlock the armory. Prepare yourselves! 
Well, I don't know. Do you guys think it's going to be like something you can actually punch in the face, or I, go I think it's something yeah, I know. Show it's going to be weird too. Ah, uh, see, look, listen. When you grow up, you should be just like you. Oh, there we have it. In case we don't get through, I want you to know I think of you as my brother. Oh, come on, hug it out. <laughs> Use this, but it's Peter would want you to have it. Then he he said. Then he kind of leave it to him in the end of the last film, like saying you'll need this. I kind of. I can't. I can't remember. Let us know in the comments. I swore I thought he like said because he said their adventures were over, his and Susan's. Every soul who stands before me has earned their place. Together we have faced adversity. Together, we can do it again. So now is not the time to fall to fear's temptations. Be strong. Never give in. For Nadia! For Nadia! He's got him going now. <laughs> That's a good I'm a little bit old for fighting. It's been a lot of years since I've been in a, a physical confrontation, but man, if I ever catch myself in some sort of fight again, I'm going to yell <laughs> for Nadia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> imagine, imagine just getting ready to throw down. All right, here we go. Fernardia! Yeah. <laughs> like, just, what? I think it would stun your opponent. Throwing roundhouses. <laughs> Say, you like it too? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, yeah, yeah, he'd be like, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, wait. wait. You're a Narnia fan? Let's hey, sit Narnia? down and discuss this. Which one did you like the most? <laughs> so, you know, we're having beers, so all it's good in the world. Yeah. Oh, because, yeah, you know what? It's going to tempt everybody. That's the thing. is, it, it, It's not going to be your biggest fears, but it's also going to be... Your deepest desires. Deepest desires. Come on. You are a great disappointment to me. Act like a king. Oh, of course. Oh, she keeps coming back. Oh, the devil herself. I'll let you know. I'll always be alive. In your mind, silly boy. No! Are you all right? Yeah. Hey, power! We will not leave. There he is, the, the last sword. one. Caspian his sword. Well, that'll work too, I guess. You should not have come. There's no way out of here. Let's turn her about, Julian. I are your majesty. Do not let it know your fears, or it will become them. Oh. Edmund. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, the sea, the sea urchin. Big sea monster. Who is that? Too late. What in the oh. uh, hell? Look at the face on that thing. No fear! No retreat! Here comes our boy. Yeah. Come on. Hit him with something. There you oh, go. Nice. nice. Oh, 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 it's, oh, oh, he's on him. Oh, no. Oh, there you go, Eustace. Oh, there we go. Dracaris, I believe that's what it is. Oh. What are you doing, Bruce Spence? He was clearly helping. Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Stop him! Aslan, please help us. Where's our boy Eustace? He just took a sword in the shoulder. Ugh, this thing is gross. Yeah, very. Smash him on the rocks. Stay right before us. Yeah, there's no idea what the hell that is. Oh. Come on, I'm here. <laughs> Come on, do it. I'm here. I'm here. Do it. <laughs> do it <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> hey, the monster kind of has eyes like the predator a little bit. A little bit. bit. Do and it. then the mouth. Yeah. Smile, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, there he is. Oh, 
Okay. All right, so he's back. Oh, what the uh, hell? Oh, and he's got the sword. Oh. oh. Man, come here. Come here. Yeah. So you're going to do the old, like, Come on, dude, do down, it. down the frickin', uh, yeah. like you do down the sail? Oh, yeah. you see the mist is coming behind Eustace, too. It's going to try to tempt him. Oh, it's pulling him. I can make you my king. Just take my hand. Just give it. Oh, that it worked. Is. Oh. It's lifting. Hey, there's all the boats. Yeah. All these are guys are coming back. They could all use a razor. <laughs> you knew that. Come on. Come on. I don't know. I was just fighting a sea monster in there like 10 seconds ago. Yeah, but it's crystal blue and oh my God. Look at that. I'm a boy again. I'm a real boy. I think it was a better dragon than I was a boy, really. I'm so sorry for being such a sop. Wow. Uh, we've. Okay. I thought it was going to be like Interstellar. Big giant wave. You watch one movie like that, it ruins everything. Now your journey is at its end. My country lies beyond. Yeah, I saw it for a second. You can only find that out for yourself. There is no return. He can't That's it. Do We're it. never going to see. I can't imagine my father would be very proud that I gave up what he died for. I spent too long wanting what was taken from me and not what was given. I promised to be a better king. You already are. I think perhaps this time we went home, actually, Lou. <laughs> Ever since I can remember, I have dreamt of seeing your country. My country was made for noble hearts such as yours. I propose just this duel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. It has been my honor to fight beside such a brave warrior. <laughs> what has he got? A little boat? Yeah, he does. Oh, nice. our last time here isn't it yes i shall be watching you always in your world i have another name you must learn to know me by it will we meet again <laughs> yes dear one you could have warned me you were yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I come back. Narnia may yet have need of you. <laughs> oh. They're dry. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the old reverse. We spoke often of Narnia in the days that followed. I miss them with all my heart. Hmm. Boys, let's, all right. Well, there. Let's get to it. There was our wow. tentatively last trip into Narnia, and you know, boy, if if I guess if anything can describe it right off the bat for me, it's that uh, this could have been so much longer than the one hour fifty three minute yeah, runtime well, that it, it had. It ran fast. It, it, it really, really did, did feel like it went fast. And I'm sure a lot of you out there who are fans of the books. They must have left a ton of stuff out of this for for as short as it as it went, and for how many stories they had to tell. I mean, you had you know the seven kings, you had to get the swords from, and and you know that whole thing. And of course, it was uh, I really looked at this one a lot more different after reading all the comments that you guys had uh, from from the first one that we 
they have already. So that was really cool because it really made me look at it differently and uh, definitely had a different feeling to it. Uh, the, again, I will say uh, right off the rip here that the first one is still my favorite. Yeah. Uh, I just felt this one was a, a bit hampered by not being as big as the others. They, it could have easily been, you know, a, a two and a half hour movie, I think. And they, they really could have added some parts that were probably left out that were definitely in the books that being said uh it was it was great seeing reap again the the mvp <laughs> uh, god i love that mouse he's great <laughs> he, he needs a spinoff somehow but now he's in aslan's world so presumably if that's what i think it is uh we probably won't see him until the very end if you catch my drift but again uh you know great story uh talked a lot about morals and facing your fears that's kind of yeah. been a theme with yeah. a number of uh movies that we've gone through here recently on the channel so i really enjoyed it uh like i said i just it left me wanting more and it's an absolute travesty that we don't have narnia the um the silver chair coming out oh, anytime yeah. soon because you know these stories are great they, they really are and i like i said this one could have been longer that being said I'm going to still give this one uh, a four out of five answers. I uh, you know, really enjoyed it, and it just left me wanting more. That sentiment can be said the same for me, wanting more, because it, wa it, it was a real fast movie. Like It was really fast-paced, fast, fast -paced, really got to it. It's like It seemed like it was really easy to get like three of the last four stars because yeah, like, they're already they're right there at the table. Shot, yeah. But uh, shout out to Will Pout Pelter. Pelter. Will Poulter, he's... He's in everything he, we're doing he's, lately. He's essence. <laughs> he was in freaking Maze Runner. He's in We're the Millers, all that stuff. Great job. Ben Barnes as as uh, as uh, Caspian. And then you have uh, Skandar Keynes, if I said that right, mm -hmm. as Edmund. And then obviously Georgie is Lucy. We grew. It's like we grew up with them, just like with Harry Potter, just like with anything with Maze Runner. We grew yeah. up with these with these kids, and they knocked it out of the park each time. So I definitely would have been interested in seeing Will continue on with another movie. So now, if you do it, you use a different kid because yeah, you can't use Will anymore. He's obviously an adult. Remember this: they they get to a certain age, and they're they're of no use to Narnia. Yeah, it seems. you can't go back. Yeah. So with that being said, though, everything was really cool. The CGI was like, you could tell, was starting to get really, really, really better. I loved all the fights at the sea. I loved the serpent. They had the classic freaking like Ghostbusters. What's your worst fear? Yeah. Oh, it's a safe puff marshmallow, oh, man. man. Instead, it was a, a serpent yeah. of the sea. A so one. I didn't like it as much as, as, uh, as one, obviously, but I did like it almost as much as two because i believe i gave that a four three but i'll give this a four two five out of five answers because i'm also going to use that to a benefit that it kept that it made me want more that's, that's sometimes true. a good thing that's but good like point. you said it could be left out of the book but 4.25 i liked it i really Absolutely. enjoyed it you know I, I read a lot of the comments and there were some people like don't i don't even bother watching part three don't bother watching part three I gotta be honest, I thought this one was great. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. Now, I enjoyed the first one. You're introduced to this whole new mm -hmm. fantasy land, right? You have mm -hmm. all these creatures and a lion, and you know, the kids get to be the heroes, and suddenly, after almost no training, have an incredible <laughs> swordsman and. Uh, and uh, it was and, months. Uh, and, and skills with bows and arrows and stuff like that. Um, part two, you know, kind of kept going with the story, but this one for me, I felt was really good. And, uh, and anybody, if, if you're new to the channel, I love pulling lessons out of these movies and especially movies that are made for kids. And I, I guess I liked the first two a lot because, and somebody put in the comments, it's like, these were like Lord of the Rings, just like kid appropriate. Yeah. And I think that I, I, I apologize. I don't know who dropped that comment. I know a few people has shared, um, similar sentiments but i think that was and I, i'm kind of paraphrasing but they're like it was lord of the rings except for kids and i thought yep. the battles in the first two were great we didn't have like the big battle here but like as far as like the lessons and like just a solid kids movie if this is how it was going to end off this was really good mm -hmm. um you know it's it's a little sad i gotta be honest watching Lucy like open up this spell book and she's trying to find other people yeah. and she finds this spell where yeah. she can be somebody else. Now granted, she just wanted to be her big sister. 
But at the same time, they made it very clear that she wasn't happy with herself and she wanted to be somebody pretty. And you know, when when you have a, a young woman saying like they don't feel like they're pretty enough, that like that hits that really you. hurts. Yeah, yeah. That, that hits Big you, time. that hits you hard. You know, and I have nieces. You know, uh, Mason Quinn here has you know daughter. It's like th- that hits hard, right? Is like and and so there was that. And then they get in the boats, and it's like. You know, it's it's gonna try to go after your fears, and we've seen that in different movies. We've seen that obviously in um, in, in Potter when they were learning the you know uh, ridiculoso. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, saw it in it. You saw it in well, it. that's and what the so whole been, premise was <laughs> of the head it's, one. It's been a theme in a handful of movies, like not giving into your fears. Eustace's like, you know, arc in this, <laughs> oh, in this incredible. movie was incredible. And wow, I, I gotta tell you, Will Poulter just. I mean, for a kid actor, yeah. he nailed nailed it. That role of Eustace. I mean, he. That, yeah. I mean, you know, and and, and, and we're the Millers. He's funny, and I don't know. He was he was good in the Maze Runners, but I don't. I feel like his acting ability really popped out in this movie, and and to but, to see that with as young as he is, I think was really impressive. Yeah, that last scene with him and Reap was or yeah. with Reap was really well, good. Well, you know what? He had to learn to believe in himself too mm-hmm. it was like you know and and the the person that he didn't like reap could have easily written him off like here's this kid but reap stuck with him and then when he turned into the dragon he comforted him and look he, he was gonna he was gonna bail right yep. right at yep. the end he was gonna bail and reap was like no you're a dragon you've got skills <laughs> yeah, yeah. like, go to it and i think like in life sometimes you need like a hype man like that you know mm-hmm. because sometimes look you, we can give speeches as much as you want like believe in yourself believe in yourself but there's something very powerful to be said about somebody else stepping up and tell you that they believe in you mm-hmm. right like if i'm if you're struggling and i say believe in yourself believe in yourself it's like okay i'm trying it's it, it hits totally different when you tell somebody else that you believe in them and yep. and that's what Reap did for Eustace, which I thought was amazing. Um, they hit, you know, they hit you early in the movie with the Lucy story about wishing she was somebody else, wishing she was her sister, and then they hit you again later on with her telling the other girl, yep. Gail, Gail, I Gail, yeah, Gail. don't 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 wish to be anybody other than yourself. Mm-hmm. So. Um, you know, I love my lessons. Um, I especially love my lessons in movies that are geared towards kids. You know, like we watched it, and I thought it had some really good lessons. Not everybody necessarily <laughs> agreed yeah. with uh, with my interpretation yeah. of the movie, which I knew people. Yeah, would. It's all about how you get to it. But I you think, know, I think everybody agrees that you know something like it has very deep lessons about you know facing fears and, and things like that. But I think these lessons are especially important in in movies for kids. And I think there's so many movies for like young kids, like that four to six, you know, your Disney and your Pixar movies. Um, But I think there's less movies for kids in like that, like, you know, six to 12, 13 range um, about this sort of stuff. And, you know, this is this is 2010. So this came out, um, you know, Facebook was a thing, but it wasn't, you know, 2010, it really wasn't for kids yet. It was kind of just for college kids, I want to say, until maybe 12 or 13. It was before Instagram, obviously before Snapchat, TikTok, and everything else. And so just really powerful messages for kids that I think are more needed now. Yeah, than ever. Um, ever. In the area, and in the, rather the, um, the era of social media where you have so many you know young people questioning their own worth and seeing what other people have and wanting to be somebody else um i i just think this is a i think this is a phenomenal movie and uh to me this this third one was my favorite based on that. oh i really like i that. really like the first one i like i said i like the grand like battle scene, mm-hmm. yeah, like who 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 would have thought you were gonna get like a really kid friendly battle, battle scene? scene with all kinds you of know, animals like and stuff. Yeah, two, yeah, yeah, two you big battle cats, scenes between animals. between you know armies, and then this one you get the nice battle at sea with a yeah. with a sea creature. Yeah. If only Johnny Depp would have shown up, like Jack Parker. Sparrow. Yeah, yeah, Parker. you you left one without a cap on. Oh, I did. Well, oh, yeah, it's, it's that one. Um, yep. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> so for me, I really, I really liked the first yeah. two movies. Don't yeah. get me wrong, mm-hmm. and it, it's—I'm um, not going to say it disappoints me, 
but it saddens me that some people didn't like the third one. And if you're somebody watching and made it this far in our yeah. review, um, I would say, you know, maybe go, go back luck. and watch it again. Um, and, and, and maybe we have a different perspective. Look, all yeah. these movies that we watch, it's like either, you know, a couple in a week or over the course of a few weeks, but we're not waiting years, years. for these to come out in the theater. So I, I can imagine, like, if somebody watched one and then two years later, it's like you're... Unless you watch it a bunch of times, you're trying to remember mm. that. And, and maybe you just didn't have the same feeling when you saw it in the theater. But I, I would encourage people to go back and watch one, two, three in a row. Because for somebody who did it... Um, yeah, you, you get recently, more out of it. Yeah, it definitely oh, hits so different. Very recently, I, I thought this third one was, was great. And I was coming in with kind of meh expectations <laughs> because of the fact that people had said it's... It's not the best, but I'm going to go four, seven, five on this. Nice. Which, uh, which you know, for, for me, for this kind of movie is pretty high. But like I said, I, I, I do place, I place a lot of value on movies that, that teach good lessons, especially lessons for kids, especially for lessons of kids this age. Mm -hmm. That, that preteen age. age. Preteen yeah. Where it's like, look. Because you, you, you hit it, Oak. There's not a lot of movies out there for kids of that age. Yeah, there's the really, really childish stuff, yeah. right? And then there's the, you know, your regular grown-up type stuff. That that middle segment, yeah. that preteen, is really hard to hit. Yeah, it's, you know? it's, it's tough to hit. And I think this was a great movie. And I think kids watching this movie, like, if you're a 10 or a 12-year-old kid and you're watching this movie, you're getting those lessons, right? They're, it's not stuff that's going. Yeah, on, that, that's. They make sure you know. You're getting those lessons, and I think that's really cool. And um, this is another one. These three movies is another one that I will put on the list for my son. You know, as he gets a little bit older to watch. So next even week, though, even though, uh, <laughs> even though they're they're uh, Rambo's uh, this week. Yeah, yeah Rambo, <laughs> Predator. And even Predator. though they're a little, uh, they're they're a little dated. I think these movies. Um, I think these movies are great. And, and Answer um, always does a great job of talking about the CGI in these movies. And I thought it, I thought it was pretty yeah. good. Like, I, look, I don't really know where good. CGI is going to be in another, you know, eight years when my son is ten years old. But I think this is a movie that you can watch and and feel like, like, look, they. they so, did I mean, a, this was ten, and the yeah. the second one was eight, and you know, the first one five, I think, was yeah. five. So, like, you could see just the progression just in freaking yeah. five. I years. mean, man, I think I think the 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 CGI of Aslan as a lion is like <laughs> that's it's pretty, top notch. It's it's pretty good, and it's yeah. you know, it's twelve years old. So so, um, a phenomenal, uh, a phenomenal job. I would really love at some point for there to be a fourth one. Um, again, you guys that would be up, that'd be ideal. Up, you brought up a good point. It's difficult to do with child actors. Yeah, you know they they grow so much over the course of a few years, and now you're talking. You know, 15, yeah. yeah, you have Will showed up. What are you talking about? I'm yeah. 11 yet, so it's <laughs> it's hard. I mean, they'd have to kind of uh, create an interesting Recasting, story, yeah. but. Uh, they could do that Captain America thing when he was Steve Rogers, little yeah. skinny, just put Will on a kid's body. <laughs> but uh, again, a, a huge shout out to uh, everybody on YouTube and Patreon for recommending these movies. I know, I know we've said this a bunch of times, and for those of you who are like regulars on the channel, you, you'll see Answer and, and Mason Quinn, and especially myself, uh, you know, kind of repeat the same sentiments in some of our previews and some of our reviews. Um, after the movie is done, but I, I always want to kind of put it out there like this might be the first time somebody's watched this channel And if it's the first time we don't want to take that for granted and so for the people who did recommend this um, We thank you guys. Yep. These these movies were a lot of fun. I think we all really liked them and again probably Not movies that we would have picked to watch on our own. Yeah. Um, so thank you. Yeah. Guys. Yeah Once again, you always crush it and thank the maker Liam Neeson was in it once again as Aslan because basically to me that made or break the movie. I'm just kidding. But for Apple and Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals.